Let me review one of my favorite comic book movies. I was going to do the worst thing of the week, but I thought that was just too much torture. And I'm probably going to get banned off of YouTube for cyberbullying. I wasn't going to cyberbully anyone, but I am afraid of that. So, yeah, I don't want to get too much into that. But let me talk about one of my favorite comic book movies ever. Close to The Dark Knight, very close. Even though The Dark Knight is PG-13 and this is rated R. And let me talk about Watchmen. And I know much people hate this. I haven't read comic books. I want to read comic books. I want to read the latest issue of Walking Dead and um, uh, the Justice League and some stuff like Alien vs. Predator. But, yeah. Watchmen. Yeah, it's a pretty good film. It's awesome, by the way. The movie's so awesome. Favorite character out the entire movie. Favorite character. Has to be Rorschach. Rorschach, like, a very hardcore detective. He's kind of like MacGyver. He, like, he takes a hand, he takes hairspray and takes, like, this little flame and shoots it like it's a flamethrower. And it was awesome. That scene was awesome. That has to be one of my favorite parts of the movie. Oh, yeah, there's also a superhero sex scene in this. So, yeah. First thing I have to note, do not take your little kids to see, do not take your... If you're watching Watchmen, make sure your kids are not watching it with you. They will. There's sex scenes in this. There's a blue penis in this. There's like a violent stuff, like some very violent stuff. This all this like knife goes into this guard guy's arm. There's this like ha like hands getting cut cut off in a prison. Guys getting lit on fire. People even people even are getting thrown out of a window. And also, you can see dogs chewing up bone, people's bones. You also get to see, like, very violent stuff. It's very violent. It's bloody, it's gory, it's very dark. They shoot. I haven't read the graphic novel. I haven't. I heard it's based off a graphic novel. I heard it was only supposed to be the graphic novel. But they had to make it into the movie because, you know, the studio wants this. Because the world is that. The studio will do anything for money. Anything. If they want a sequel, they will get a sequel. No matter what happens, they will get that sequel. And nothing will happen. Now, let me talk about other characters. Like, let me talk about Night Owl. His suit kind of looks like, um... Shit. Yeah, his suit kind of looks like shit. He kind of looks like Batman. But the suit's okay. Um, uh, Night Owl could, um, uh, for me, Night Owl could have been a little more fleshed out, I think. But he was still a pretty good character. He did develop along the story. He did develop. He did develop more around the story. But he needs to be, like, more fleshed out for me. It was like this close for being a flesh, a full fleshed out character like Rorschach was, because I I know I know about Rorschach. He was like um a small little ginger that get got picked on, and he beat some assholes up, asshole bullies up. That's one part I saw. They do show like a flashbacks. They fl they show flashbacks to Doctor Manhattan. Yeah, most of this movie, Doctor Manhattan's naked, as a blue penis. No one wants to see that. I'm Dr. Manhattan. Here's my description of Dr. Manhattan. <sighs> if only I can paint myself blue and do stuff. I'm Dr. Manhattan. I'm naked. Oh, oh yeah, it's Saints Day at my school. That's why I wore I'm wearing this. Don't I look like a young Drew Brees. I'm sorry if that offended you. But, anyway, I like Watchmen. Watchmen's phenomenal. Let me talk about some other characters like Silk Suspender. She, like, there was, she had good chemistry with her mom and also Night Owl. Yeah, there's also 
one part where Night Owl and Seth Spectre are on the ship, like this big ship thing, like the Watchmen use, and they ha and they're having sex. Yeah, superhero sex scene, gonna have in it. There's also a lot of dark stuff. I can't say it on my show, cause this is the season finale, and uh, yeah, it's pretty dark. It's pretty gruesome. It's pretty gory. It's pretty violent. Get, and you also get to see um, uh, boobies. Yeah, you get to see boobies in a blue penis. It's a very dark rated R movie. I watched it until the end. The ending's a little sloppy, but they actually tell you why it's sloppy. I mean, they kill off my favorite character at the end. That sucks. But I haven't seen this in theaters. I just, like, I was bored one night and I was just flipping through channels. And then I found Watchmen. That's how I found Watchmen. I watched it. It was a pretty good, decent movie. Now let me get into the plot of the story. The plot is mainly Rorschach is like in an alternate universe. Rorschach found like a Watchman dead, so he needs to figure out who's picking off the Watchmen one by one. So, like this killer wants to start like a civil like a, this killer wants to start a war, so he has to find out why he wants to and if he probably is. Or why is he picking off, like, Watchmen one by one? Rorschach has to figure that out. Some of the other characters, like, um, like this blonde-haired dude, there's a big twist with him at the end. And, uh, there's Dr. Manhattan, the blue penis guy. There's also some other characters I don't want to talk about. But, some characters could have been a little more fleshed out, like, um, uh, that blonde guy and that guy that smokes. That Watchman that smokes. And has that mask. Overall, Watchmen's a pretty good movie. It's awesome, by the way. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite comic book movies of all time. And Roy Shack's suit, I wish I could wear that so bad. Gingers are pretty bad. Like, Roy Shack is a badass. So that's why. That's why Watchmen is. O2 awesome with a badass O2 movie man seal of approval. So yeah. See you later, filmmakers. Come back. This is the season finale. Goodbye. Wait until summertime to get my next movie reviews in. For now on I'm gonna have that's worth filming for, and that's a new segment right now. So see you later, filmmakers!